Ich bin jetzt hier. Okay. There we go. Nice. What a waste of bullets. Ah, uh, we have some stamina now. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where we play 7 Days to Die modded using Valmod. Yay, I got it right. It didn't say starvation mod. In the last episode, we got our uh, ceiling done, which was really, really awesome. So we have this all covered and we can now start with the proper work uh, in the base. And we're going to get a little bit more organized today and then we probably will go on a loot run over to the little village like and see what else what other POIs we can loot because we're gonna need to get sorted with a farm with food with all that jazz hopefully I will be able to do a full length episode today because I just finished recording two and a half hours of Alan Wake of episode three holy balls it took forever and I still have to edit it and cut it up and everything either way I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started in regards to storage I think I have pretty much everything sorted so I have my food and everything here now for Food and kind of medicine. I have random items that I crafted and bullets and guns here for the moment and all the resources I have here. We need one more box, so we're gonna need to get get some um there we go. This is empty, this is empty. We're gonna have to go and get some wood because we absolutely have no wood left. And then hopefully we're gonna get soon to make the iron fire axe and iron pickaxe tool. Oh, that was a disgusting little oh reverse swallow, whatever that is. It's not when you swallow, it's when it kind of says hi on the other end. Now, oh, having a bit of wood to fit. Oh, look at this. This is so nice. Like everything is, we're not falling down here. We, oh, this is lovely. We're going to have to upgrade all of this. Also, one of you guys was saying that I will not level up my axe because I'm using the stone axe. I'm not using the stone axe. I'm using a scrap iron axe, which actually works with axe skills. So a scrap iron axe should be absolutely fantastical with uh, leveling up our axe skill, which you leveled up earlier, I think. Like, so we actually can make steel axes now, but we can't because we don't, we can't make the resources or anything. So, and we still can't make a fire axe. There you go, because we still don't have, have it unlocked, which I think comes at 20 axe rating or some nonsense like that. I have no idea. Do we see it here? Axes. 10 unlocks an iron fire axe. Oh, nice. And we have eight points. You know what? We're going to grind through to get this extra points because look at this. It's here at the queue. If we do a little bit of a tree, let's see how high it goes. Okay, so it's still over the queue. Maybe it's only pit tree you chop actually down. That could be it. I have no idea. I don't know exactly how it levels up. I know. Oh, yeah, it already moved on. So it does move on just a little bit with um, the actual action, not just with a full tree. Because I know there is some skills which only uh, level up when you actually like finish destroying a block or finish uh, taking the block a level down or something. Oh, anyway, again, apologies if I'm a little bit all over the shop because um, I like playing Alan Wake for two and a half hours, holy bots, because I don't like uh, recording 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, because I kind of lost, lose interest as well after a while, yeah? Because you play 20 minutes, you come back next week, or you didn't have time, you're gonna go, oh, what was that about? But when you finish a whole episode, in this case, episode three, I played all the way through, and yeah, sure, it gets tired, and you can see actually towards the last part of episode three, I'm probably a little bit more tired and, and less, um, oh, yeah, this is amazing, because you kind of, feel like that but you kind of go oh okay this is getting two and a half hours sitting on my ass playing this and it's a fun game it is actually it is a lot of fun the controls are frustrating at times but it is a really really good game and the story is so amazing so far so i really hope you guys are enjoying it and um dead island by the time you see this video oh no actually dead island will be after this video tonight which you hopefully will enjoy. I really hope you do, guys. Because what can we repair that with? We need actually iron to repair this with? Wow! Okay, so let's scrap this, actually. Just so we have some iron to make a new scrap axe. And um, so I recorded Dead Island again. And I noticed when I was looking through my old Dead Island videos, ad, um, ad revenue for all Dead Island videos. And I went through, actually, every single channel I could think of that played Dead Island. I think even the Rat Prat uh, played Dead Island at some point, yeah? There's no ads on any of them. No post-roll ads, no pre-roll ads, no mid-ads, nothing. It's like Dead Island is absolutely blacklisted and um, 
on YouTube. So there's absolutely no ads playing on any Dead Island videos, which is a bit worrying. But what I'm going to do is I decided because if you guys enjoy it and you watch it, if you watch it, I will continue playing it, okay? Because it's not all about that ad revenue, you know? Like, so if we have fun playing the game and I really would like to finish it because it is actually a lot of fun. The quests are getting really hard, but it is uh, a lot of fun. So we're going to continue playing that as well. You're going to see this after this video as far as I remember. Um, if I got my scheduling right and... Ah, what are we missing? Plant fiber and wood. Yeah, we have wood. We need plant fiber. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Can we make it now? Make it now? Make it now? Excellent. Look at that. Beautiful. I think we're on the last three, guys. If we have this three now, we should be leveling to level 10. Let me see. We're nearly there. So either just before that tree falls or as the tree falls, we're going to be leveling. There we go. New recipe unlocked. Iron fire axe. Absolutely fantastic. We are now level 10 fire axe. And I did not spend the two points, which I was really, really tempted at. Oh, man. But now we can make the iron fire axe. And what are we missing? Oh, we're missing whetstone. Oh, that's okay. Because we have a couple of things here. We usually get whetstone from these guys. Let me see. Do we get it only when they explodate? Oh, do we only get it in the end? Because I haven't received any yet. We usually get a few of them. Are they really that rare? Oh, there's one. And that's it. So they are a bit rare with the drop chance. So we need two, I think. Yeah, we need two. And then we have to put it to the test to see how much better the iron uh, fire axe is compared to the uh, scrap iron axe. It's supposed to be better. Well, it has to be. It would logically make sense. Okay, so we have the other whetstone here. And another one. Great. We got another backup one, which is brilliant. Beautiful. And let's do this and fire axe and pow. And... Nah, no, toolsmithing is down. That's okay. We're, we're all the way up with toolsmithing. So let's see what we're going to get in 44 seconds. Okay, we're going to take the two same trees and we're going to use a full f uh, fire axe or scrap iron axe with um, full stamina on this. And what I did is I put one wood up here. So we got actually 27 wood. That's exactly how much wood we got. 27 wood. Now let's go with the fire, iron, uh, the fire axe over to the same tree. And let's see how much more we get. It looks like it's more. Yes, we did. We got 32. So it does pay off. The stamina is going down a little bit more drastic, but it does pay off to actually go for a grind now with the new iron tools, which is awesome. Just before we're going to prepare for our loot run, um, let's upgrade a couple of more blocks because we have a lot of wood. So we might as well upgrade them. They're only four wood, actually. I thought they were like 10. So, which means we should be able to upgrade a whole huge area. I've also crafted now some forged iron, which hopefully will allow me now to make a hammer, which should be much easier. Now, the hammer takes clau uh, Klaubisch, Genie Max, speaking German now. The hammer, I think, takes a minute or something. So, let me see here to craft. So, what, what do we have? Hammer, hammer. Can I actually craft a hammer already? Oh, I can't. Ooh, that is interesting because that's one of the default uh, crafts that you can do usually. That is... Wow. Okay. We have to look into that. Okay, so I'm going to finish upgrading outside and then hopefully we can upgrade the whole top because that would look really awesome. And then we're going to have to worry about food and drink and go on a loot run for some POIs. That would be really, really awesome. Because I think there was a hardware store and everything there, but I could be mixing that up now because I do get my games mixed up. It happens all the time. It's just too much. It is too much. We're, we're going to have to take some lockpicks with us and we're going to have to go to town and hopefully get lucky, find something really interesting. And food is actually more important. So maybe we're not going to bring the lockpicks. I don't know. No, I would kick myself because it's the opportunity. I, I smash them down and then I think, oh, balls. I could have used my... my um, there we go, it's in here. My lock picks. Oh, look at that. We have the wrench, a mechanical wrench. What do we need here? Forged steel. Oh, wow. Okay, so steel I don't have. <laughs> no, sorry. But um, I think everything else can actually hand over to me because we have a chest for literally everything now. I mean, for things that are already made, we have a chest and that goes in there as well. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, all the jazz can go in there. Let me see here. 
Yeah, that can all go in there for now. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna see it. I don't know if we're gonna see it. I don't think so. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Are we gonna see it? I don't think so. Oh, it is actually not that far away. I think we could make it, guys. They always look very close. They always look very close. But I think we're okay. There should be no dogs in the area. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Oh, please, 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 please. Because I have no food. I have no drink. I'm actually... I'm running after... The, uh, what happened last time? We were on a stream. I saw one of those drop. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And I had no food and no drink on me. Nothing. I was actually dying, like, you know. And so on the way back... I had to drink dirty piss water from the toilet in the houses because I had nothing. And then I came home and of course I had golden rod, I had red tea or whatever. I had everything. I was like, everything was delicious. I even had meat and everything. But hey ho, you can't have it all. I'm not running out of stamina. Ooh! I'm running out of stamina, but we have, uh, we have it still inside. We still have it inside. Just screw the birds. I don't have any bullets with me. That's bull crap or balls. And, um... This is gonna be risky business now. This is gonna be risky, oh my lord, because I have absolutely no weapons with me of any significance. Now we know we're looking in the right direction now, absolutely nothing of significance. It has to be around here, we're walking straight towards it. It has to be around here, just ignore all the zombies dude, just ignore them. There it is, I can see it guys. Oh, is that, is that grass? Oh, balls, you must be kidding me. Oh man, uh, you guys were also saying why don't I have the markers on, and there it is. I like this excitement, having to find it, possibly missing it, and then having to return with absolutely zero uh, crate and loot. That's what I like. Now in streaming it's different because I talk a lot and I try to look at chat a lot. So uh, spotting air airdrops is really, really hard, like because you kind of, they, they always drop when you're in the middle of something like with the people in chat. So let's open that. Nice, okay. Do we have time to check out what we got? <gasps> oh, meat. Yes. Oh, baby. I love it. We got some meat for us. Oh, bacon and eggs, baby. Oh, we have food. Oh, hello. Do you like a little scratch on your belly, too? You're just like the doggy I had in the other episode. You like to pop. Get your stretchy belly scratch and pop like a poppy pop. There we go. Look at that. Loads of popping going on. Okay, we are, we are very thirsty. What we could do is we could just go to a dirty river and actually I looted some water and I looted some drink. Look at that. What did we get? Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. We have to be careful. We have to be careful here. So we eat only a little bit because I want to keep the rations and we only have one drink. And I like the way our bottle turns into a glass jar. It's just, it's a magic bottle. It turns into a glass jar. That was awesome! That was nearly as good as a loot run! Hi! Ha! I missed you! Crap! Ooh. The amount of random corn that you actually find on this map is just insane. Look at this. And we haven't even come across proper fields like in the city, in the town. So this is actually pretty mighty of this game. Look at that. We, we picked up at least four groups of those along the way. Let me see. We have 15 now, which is amazing. Okay, so let's go home. We're nearly... Oh, bird's nest. There we go. Good bird's nest. I love it. Okay, that's it. Excellent. Okay, so let's have a little check. I think the shanty town is definitely something we should loot. And then on the other side, the grocery store is probably something we should loot. The grocery store and there's a hardware store as well, I think, which could have a chance of um, maybe finding a cool logger. That would be pretty awesome. Or some rebar frames, you know. Enhance those base blocks. I just noticed when I was sorting out my stuff, where did that steel pickaxe come from? Did that come from the loot from the crate as well? How awesome is that? That's like pretty awesome, I would say. So let's see what we have here. Any stones on us? No. Okay, now we have one on us. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit of energy gone. And... We got 33 rocks. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, this went much faster, costed a lot more stamina, but we got a lot more stone from it. Look at this, that is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. What a find. That is just sweet. Let's go. Let's go. 
Right, I bring my rifle with me because I find that a little bit tougher to, um, well, easier for me, tougher for the zombies to beat. Oh, oh, keep your pants on there, little engine. And I have my mailer with me and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go down here. There is a grocery store right in front of us, kinda, kinda, and a passing gas as well. I'm gonna ignore the zombies, screw them. They're gonna go completely sideways anyway. And we'll see what pure ice we see. I think we might have already looted the grocery store. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Very nice. I love how long my stamina lasts now when I'm running. That's really awesome. <laughs> yeah. Bloody flying things. Like, what the balls, man? It's like, okay, fair enough. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. My window is slightly open. And I have flying things coming in. So, yeah, it's kind of disgusting. Stupid flying things. Bam! Okay, there we go. Very nice. I like it. We still have stamina. And she's going down. I can't wait to get our bow because... Oh, hey, oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we did not go in here before, but let's do it now. There we go. Very nice. I love it. This is some free iron right here. Very lovely. 20. And chairs, always pick up chairs. Especially if you're still collecting resources, always pick up chairs. Okay, hit her in the face. Stop missing the one that doesn't actually move in erratic fashion. There we go. Oh, very lovely. Okay, I think we might have to have a... What do we have here? Okay. There we go. Nice. What a waste of bullets. Ah, uh, we have some stamina now. Would have been nice if I wouldn't have missed them while they were upstairs. But hey ho, what are we gonna do? So we need some food, we need some books, we need to learn some recipes, and oh, look at that, double pants. Double the fun, double the pants. Double the fun, taking them off. <laughs> Whatever that meant, I have no idea, guys. I'm, I'm, it's three o'clock in the morning. Why would I make sense? Okay, thank you. Hello. That's just so much easier. Oh, nice. We got a Red Bull here. That is awesome. Okay, let's reload. I can't. I want to find a safe. I want to use my lockpick because it's going to go like. Oh, look at that. We got some Russians as well. That is awesome. And we got some drinks. Finally, we got some drinks. And my phone is vibrating. What are you vibrating for? How are you doing? So there we go. Look at that. We got all that. Very nice. Oh, this was good. Look at that. Nice. Okay, this. Okay. Ah. Come on. Scrap a Rooney. Scrap a Rooney. Ah, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the chairs until the end, and then we're going to do big scrap. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, the high five lady. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Neck over the... Shit. Somebody else coming here. There's definitely somebody else coming. What the balls, man. Are you behind the house? Are you upstairs? Hello? This is really scary. Oh. This is... This is really scary! Where's that stupid noise coming from? It was like really, really zombie noisy! Genie Mac! I'm intentionally going through the window now because I don't want anything to come... There. Where are you? Are you in this room? You sound really weird. What's wrong with you? Oh, there you are. You stupid crawler. Give me a bloody heart attack, man. He was making such an odd noise. Anyway, we 
We haven't got really much loot from this one now. Oh, nice. We got actually some good food here. I mean, this is a grocery store after... After all, genie mug. There we go, nice. Nothing in it, nothing in it. I would have been nice to find another wrench. That would have been really sweet. Gotta take that barrel. Let's have a quick look here. Nothing. Nothing. And a book? Nah. Ah, well. Can't have it all. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue our loot run and we're going to get a little bit more sorted. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. The back of a person, guys, is actually pretty exciting. Ooh, we got a quest item. What do we have here? There we go. Very lovely. And let's see what we're gonna get in the chest. And there's a cement mixer as well, but we can't take them, which is kind of a pain in the balls. Ah, nothing. Okay, what do we have here? That's a loot one, so we can't use that anyway. And now let's have a quick look. Oh, nice. We got a lot of arrow tips. That is awesome. Okay, let's go in here. And I think there might be a workbench in it. And at least we can destroy them, which would be really nice. Oh, hello. 